Hello everyone, welcome back to another Steam Deck tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install your games from the Epic Game Store onto your Steam Deck. Here I am playing Borderlands 2, which you can get on Steam, but I just happen to own this game on Epic. And as you can see, it's all working fine. This tutorial is a bit easier with a mouse and keyboard, but it's not too bad to navigate using just the touch screen. And the first time that I tested this out, I adjusted it with a touch control, so you should be okay. So to get started, first go into desktop mode. There's been a bit of an update since I last made a tutorial and now all of our game icons appear on the desktop, but don't worry about that. Go down to the Discover Software Center and type Heroic into the search box. This is what we want to install, the Heroic Games Launcher, so click to download that. Once that's installed, close the Discover Software Center, open the menu and look for the Heroic Games Launcher. You can either type Heroic into the search box again, or for me, it always appears in the Games section, so click on that to launch the software. Now that we're in, you can see what the Heroic Games Launcher looks like. There's quite a lot here, but the first thing that you can probably notice that pops up is a window saying you're not logged into any accounts, and so your library is empty. Now we fix that by heading to the menu on the left hand side and clicking log in. You'll notice here that there are actually a few different stores you can log into. There's the Epic Games Store but also Amazon and GOG. We're just going to focus on Epic today so click on that option and you'll see it opens the Epic API where you can log in. If you are using touch controls then press the Steam button plus X to open the keyboard. Once you're logged in you'll be able to see your Epic Games username next to the option to log out and now there's a button at the bottom called go to library and this is the one that we want. So here you can now see a list of all the games that you own on the Epic Store. If we go into one here, I'm just going to pick Borderlands 2. We set that installing. Once you've clicked to set it installing, we've got a few options. There's a drop down here for the wine settings. And in case you didn't know, Proton, which is used by the Steam Deck a lot to get games running. Well, Proton is just another version of wine. So here we can choose which version of Proton we want. If you want a specific one, I'm just gonna leave it as default on the experimental one for now. So while that's installing, you can see here, the Heroic Launcher lists the Steam Deck compatibility. And if we click on where it says Proton compatibility tier, it actually launches the Proton DB page, which can be very useful to see what Experience other people in the community had trying to play this game on Steam Deck. There's not really anything here for Borderlands 2, but if you do have a game that you're sort of wondering how people found it, this is a good place to look. For now though, I'm going to skip ahead until the game is finished installing. So Borderlands 2 has installed. You can launch the game from here if you want, but we want the Steam Deck controls to work with it really well, so it's best to run it through game mode instead. So click on the menu in the top right and click Add to Steam. It says that a restart is required, that's absolutely fine, so if you exit Steam and then reopen it. Now we can see that Borderlands 2 is in the library. One final thing that I like to do while we're in Steam is I like to add the Heroic Launcher as a non-Steam game. This step isn't necessary, but if you want to open up the launcher again to have another look, it can be a bit quicker to do it from game mode instead of having to go back into desktop mode. So now that that's all done, let's return to game mode. Once we're back in the main UI for the Steam Deck, tab across to the non-Steam Games section. Firstly, we can see the Heroic Games Launcher, which I will just open up quickly. It works basically the same from here, so if you want to install another game or update a game, you can do that from this window. So now we're gonna close the Heroic Launcher and we're gonna go back to Borderlands 2, which we can see has been added as a non-Steam game like we tried to do earlier. When you do add a game from the Heroic Launcher to Steam in the way that we did, it usually provides an image for the game. You get some artwork, which is good. It's pretty good usually, sometimes it's a bit off. So at one time I got the VR version of a game for the artwork instead of the sort of standard artwork. It's not a big deal. If you do have the Steam Grid DB plugin installed, then you can always change the artwork that way. Now we're going to launch Borderlands 2. Depending on the game, it can take a little while to get through and sometimes you might get this pop up about whether or not it finds the compatibility. I've always hit yes and it's always worked from there. So like I said, the first time it can take a little while to get through the launch, but you can see now we've reached the main menu. And just to show you now a bit more gameplay, you can see everything is running as we'd expect. Because we added it to 
Assist Steam, you can get all the normal functions like the performance overlay. And if you want, you can edit controls using the Steam controller layouts, just like you would in a proper Steam game. Sleep mode also works just like normal. So this is a really good way to play your Epic games on Steam Deck. There are some games that won't work still. You're not gonna be able to play Fortnite on your Steam Deck using this method because the issue there is the anti-cheat not playing nicely with Linux, but the majority of your Epic games should run fine using this method. Of course, a lot of people will be happy just using Steam all the time to buy and play games, but these days there are a few games that are still exclusive to the Epic Store, and also Epic offers free games pretty regularly to, so because they're trying to bring people into their ecosystem. So if you do have games on the Epic Store, you want to play them with your Steam Deck, as you've just seen, it's very easy to do and everything works great. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope you enjoyed playing your Epic games on Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.